Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1970 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup is between the Kansas City Royals and the Seattle Pilots at Brainiac Stadium. On the mound for the Royals is Steve Busby, whose record is 3-7 with a 4.24 ERA. And pitching for the Pilots is John Gelnar, whose record is 2-7 with a 5.61 ERA. Okay, you know, today I just had like this realization that it's March 2nd, <laughs> and that means I have to have six double headers between now and the start of the real Major League Baseball season if I want to be on time with uh, my Detroit Tigers 1985 season that we are planning on playing. Uh, so we're not going to do a double header today. I don't have that kind of time today, but tomorrow. We will play a doubleheader, and I think the wise thing for me personally is to try to get a doubleheader in each of the upcoming series until we are on track, at least. Um, and so uh, be prepared then for a doubleheader tomorrow, and then at least a doubleheader most likely on Tuesday coming up. And, uh, you know, that way I think I can get back on track and have this wrapped up by April 1st when I can kick off the uh, 1985 Detroit Tigers uh, season replay. Um, and the only reason why I have to, if, if you remember correctly, the reason why that we have to have one season completed before we start the next season is that the logos in teams change over the years. And in order for me to use a logo by a team that is in this sim series, let's say the Royals, for example, the Royals having uh, their logo that looks like this in 1970. This is not their updated logo. I know it looks very similar, but it's not the same logo as uh, the 1985 Royals. Uh, in order for me to use the 1985 correct logo in that series, um, I have to go into uh, the league editor and uh, change their letter abbreviation. Um, and when I do that, it screws up the abbreviations that we've been using all along. You may remember we had that problem last year. Uh, so some of the statistics, when you look at um, a player's uh, a team name, it'll say uh, KCR for one year, in, like the 1983 season, and then the 1984 season it says ROY or something. Because I I didn't realize you couldn't do that. That you just that I didn't realize that the three letter abbreviation that's uh, on the uh, league page actually uh, prints onto their each individual's um, uh, stat card. So. And, then, and just looking at it makes me mad because, like, there are so many. Like, Philadelphia, I made PHL because I thought that would just be a temporary replacement. And then even with Atlanta, um, I changed the three-digit uh, to, like, BRA. Uh, and then I, when I realized that it was printing the wrong way, I went back and changed to ATL. So now they have two different abbreviations for the 1984 year. It still ticks me off. That's why. Um, that's one of the reasons why I want the uh, the 1985 season to be the last season for that Sim series. I just can't look at. I can't face my mistakes. Yeah, I guess that's what it comes down to. Uh, nonetheless, we need to get this game going. So let's go ahead and get started. Thank you guys for following along, like and or subscribe to the channel as uh, the game continues to load here. And I adjust my headset speakers. Okay, we've got John Gelnar on the mound. Uh, only 15 innings away from 100 uh, innings pitched. He probably will get there, I think. As long as he does not get injured. Uh, we have everybody in the bullpen available except for Fred Gladding, who in his first game back yesterday just got blowed up. They gave up like seven runs uh, in the ninth inning. Uh, it, was, it was way over by then. And uh, everybody else is good to go. 
And then we look at our lineup versus Steve Busby. The good news is we got Jose Cruz back, who was batting 350 in the previous 20 games before his injury. Uh, the injury allowed him to have a higher rating. He's up to an 84 now. Uh, that's excellent. However, uh, Tommy Agee was listed as tired. So he will rest today. Don Bosch, who hit his first home run of the season yesterday, will get another start, this time in center field. Okay, let's go ahead and do the lineup rundown for the Kansas City Royals batting leadoff. In right field is Pat Kelly. Batting second at third base is Joe Foy. Batting third and catching is Ed Kirkpatrick. Batting cleanup in left field is Hawk Taylor. Batting fifth at first base is Mike Fiore. Batting sixth at second base is Jerry Adair. Batting seventh in center field is Scott Norby. Batting eighth at shortstop is Rich Severson. And batting ninth is the pitcher Steve Busby. We'll take a closer look here at John Gelnar making his 17th start. That's one shy of last year. He's got the opposite record. He's 2-7 and seven with a 5.61 ERA, 41 strikeouts and 85 innings pitched. Opponents are batting 306 against him. His fastball tops out at 90 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 44%. Only good pitch is the fastball. It's rated an 81, overall rated a 77. The 27-year-old righty is arbitration eligible at the end of next year. We'll take a look at his log. His previous start was versus Kansas City. Uh, he went five innings, giving up two runs and six hits. Not a bad performance from him. Scroll back just two more starts. He went four innings, giving up two runs on seven hits. Uh, he's only walked two batters in his last three games. So I guess he's technically due. Uh, to have a poor performance, although he has not won since way back in July. Let's take a look at our defense. Solid everywhere you look. Um, the left side of the infield is our two best defensive players. Uh, Rating-wise, behind the plate, we also have Dal Rimple today. I think we're going to have a few more starts uh, down the uh, stretch of the season. Uh, Bosch in center field, actually an upgrade over AG defensively. Uh, and right field, of course, is Pepitone, the only defensive player below league average. Okay, here we go. Pat Kelly leading it off versus John Gelnar. And more importantly, this is the last series against our own division this year. We won't have to deal with these pathetic uh, Royals batters that somehow seem to absolutely crush us. Kelly with the ground ball to first. There's one down as Johnson makes the play. Next man up is Joe Foy, who goes to the opposite field for a single. Runner on first, Ed Kirkpatrick, in a bit of a slump, batting 176 in his last 20 games. And there's a delay. All right, we already know how this is going to go down. We'll bring the infield in. We cannot afford to give up any runs. Hawk Taylor. Powering the team with 18 home runs. 1 0. Mike Fiore. Popping it up. Two down for the best hitter on the team, Jerry Adair. Took over second base when they traded Ron Hunt, and then he's just been tearing it up. 2 0. Scott Northey striking out. Great. Royals up 2 nothing. Let's take a look at our lineup rundown. Batting leadoff in left field is Jose Cruz. Back from the IL. Batting second at shortstop is Mark Belanger. Batting third in right field is Joe Pepitone. Batting cleanup at first base is Darren Johnson. Batting fifth in center field is Don Bosch. Batting sixth at third base is Aurelio Rodriguez. Batting 7th and catching is Clay Dalrymple. Batting 8th at 2nd base is Van Kelly. And batting ninth is the pitcher John Gelnar. Steve Busby making his 13th start. He's 3-7 and seven with a 424 ERA. 59 strikeouts and 85 innings pitched. Opponents are batting 260 against him. He does have a complete game. 
Fastballs topping out at 90 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is right around 50%. His sinking fastball is his best pitch, rated an 86. Overall rated an 82, the 20-year-old righty is arbitration eligible at the end of the 72 season. Look at his log. You'll see his previous start against us. He went six, gave up three. Three hits, two walks, got a no decision. Also beat us back in May. He threw 142 pitches, eight innings, five runs, only two were earned, 10 hits, three walks. Let's take a look at the Royals defense. They're not very good. Uh, shortstop is Severson, well below league average. Left field is Hawk Taylor. Uh, he is not so good. And behind the plate is Ed Kirkpatrick, whose arm is 69. Yeah, okay. So we can at least maybe uh, pad some stats in this series. Jose Cruz, leading it off. Good to have him back. And he agrees, a base hit to left field. Do we want to go for two? Why not? We're already losing. We're going to lose the game. Jose Cruz get, does get a leadoff double. A hustle double. His 11th of the year. That's a good sign. Mark Belanger at the plate. We moved him up to the number two spot. He does seem to be hitting better lately. I mean, unless you consider lately being the last at bat in which he struck out. Joe Pep. And he's hit the left. Cruz should be able to score on that, right? And it, oh, God. I mean, come on. I'm so sick of this. An unearned run right out of the gate. If Joe Pepitone singles, he would have scored anyway. Um, I don't think they give him an RBI on that because it was an unearned run, but and then we get to a double play. No, no, not even that good. Well, we're on the board. Top of the second. Here's Rich Severson. Popping it up on the infield. One down. The pitcher Busby batting 192. That's pretty good for a pitcher, right? And he gets a base hit. Runner on first, infield single. Six hits given up by Gelnar already. I don't think he is going to get to 100. There's one down, and the catcher, Kirkpatrick. We need a double play here. There's a ground ball to second. This could do it. It does. We get out of that jam. Keep him off the board, go to the bottom of the second, and Aurelio Rodriguez will lead it off. That looks like maybe a hit? Yeah. Not really an infield single. 147 feet, so that would have made it to the outfield, but it didn't present it that way, but uh, we'll take a hit any way we can get it. Here's Dalrymple. The Rimp. Uh, what is he batting in his last 20 games? Only 225, but I feel like he does something every time uh, we get him into a ball game. He's actually a really good hit and run guy, right? Yeah. Let's hit and run, stay on the double play. If you can hit and run with a catcher, I think that's definitely a plus. There's a ground ball to third. Rodriguez advances. Tying run in scoring position for Van Kelly. Uh, sneaky been bad. Uh, his batting average is down to 227. And a base hit. We'll tie it. Good job by... Oh, shoot. Scott knows he's got a gun. And you know if we just... I mean, we have the pitcher up next. So we got to send him. And this will definitely be an out. But logically, we have no choice. With one out... It would be the second out right now, and the rally would be over. Or we have an attempt to score at least. And um, then the pitcher would be up. So I think we got to try. And he's safe. Shoo! Okay. 
2-2. Gelnar, he will do what he's designed to do. Mm, drop it like it's hot. Ground ball right to the infielder, pulled in. And he still is successful, so good job. And we are back to the top of the order with Jose Cruz, who led the game off with a hustle double. Oh, he strikes out on that curveball. Okay, we've tied it up. Keeping it interesting for now. I mean, if Gelnar continues giving up these hits, I mean, I think we still have to stick with him if he, even if he gives up a couple of runs. We are really... There's a walk. We are really um, overtaxing the bullpen here. Great. A strikeout and a walk. Something that's built right into the uh, AI. Another ground ball getting past the best defensive third baseman not named Robinson. Great job, game. Seven hits. Here's Scott Northey. And a wild pitch, so that'll be, that means two runs will score here. And there's nothing we can do about it. Fly ball to the left. There's no way Taylor with that 66B will tag. Unbelievable. How could he do that? On a fly ball to left field with Jose Cruz out there. And will they score? No, we'll just walk him. He sucks, but Busby's already got his hit. So he's not going to get another hit, right? God, he roped it in the center. It will be caught. Royals jump back ahead. 82. Roger with a whippy ground ball to second. Pepitone can't hit it past the 80 to third baseman, but they hit it right past Rodriguez. Great. Three ground balls. Oh, and an error. So the two bad defensive players on the left side of the infield have made errors. Top of the fourth. 55 pitches for Gelner already. And the top of the lineup. And another leadoff hit. Every single inning, the leadoff guy has got on. And another double. This time a hustle double. He's 24th. Eight hits and two walks. And then Kelly steals third. That's a good pitch to go on. 76 mile an hour changeup. The 16th. We pull the infield in. Line drive to second. Kill it! Oh, he gets back. It works, you know, like when you do that and it works, you can't do it again. We need to do it again. But it never works two times in a row. Um, whoa, it says outfield in? When, when did that come back into the game? That, I don't even remember ever seeing, I mean, I know that that was around for a while, and then he took it out of the game. Is my game downloading itself automatically? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Uh, I mean, there's no reason to do an outfield in. Um, unless you're hoping for a sack fly or the game's on the line. Um, okay, we're going to do the infield in again. We know it doesn't work two times in a row. Second wild pitch by Gelnar. Great job, game. We have as many wild pitches as the Royals have errors. That's good programming. Oh, give him a third. Now we we have more wild pitches than we scored runs. And now he will score. Well, this time Rodriguez able to keep it in front of him. Four to two.
An infield single for the catcher. Great. We'll take it. Another unlikely thing to happen. Van Kelly popping it up. Oh, it had to happen to get to the pitcher. That was the one thing the game had to do to get with two outs of the pitcher for us to make a decision. I mean, I guess we do. I'm, if Dal Ripple was in scoring position, I would absolutely take him out. Uh, but I don't think it matters, and I'd like to get one more inning out of Gelnar, even if he gives up six runs. All right. This is the bottom of the lineup. Not that it matters. Well, the leadoff man will not get on unless there's an error. That's the first. And a 1-2-3 inning. So that will do it for Gelnar, I think. Let's take a look at the in-game stats. Cruz has one of the five hits. This is three, six, seven, eight in a row now by Busby. No, no, because Del, Del Rimple did have that hit. So scratch that. Scratch it hard. Um, we'll let Gelnar pitch to the pitcher. Fly ball into right center field. And Gelnar will come out. He's up to 90 at uh, end of third innings. Good job by him. We got some lefties coming up. Let's bring in Ted Davidson. He's been a nice... I have no idea how a guy with a 66 rating has an 082 ERA. Uh, but he's doing a good job. And he's our loogie. Let's see if he can get a lefty out. He cannot. Can he get a righty out? He can. Makes no sense. Great job game. And then Kirkpatrick. Caught stealing on a 79 mile slide. Makes no sense. Brian Johnson. Not, we have a lefty infield in any, uh, so many innings. There we go. That should be a hit. Will it be more than a single? No. We're down two runs. Let's see if Bosch can steal second. He does. 85 mile an hour sinking fastball. Good job by Bosch. He's having a pretty good run here as he's about to lose his everyday job. Four stolen bases. That's four in a row as well. All right, can Rodriguez drive him in? Nope. If you're a schlubby player and you've already got a hit, you're likely not going to get a second hit, right? Dalrymple walks. Van Kelly. Base hit from Kelly. Good job, boss. The score. Kelly is sometimes clutch. That will make us make a move on Davidson, which is fine. And we'll do that. Um, we're not going to score here, but at least I feel good about scoring a run that we already have. So I guess Rich Rowell will come in. Two one. And a ground ball. To okay, so we're one run out away from tying it up here now. Um, well, we're going to bring in another lefty. This is going to work out for us in the bullpen uh, because Gelnar was able to get his five. Ramon gets righties out better than lefties. I don't know why, but yeah, great job, dude. Oh, I thought he was going to walk him for sure. Hawk Taylor says he's never faced him. I find that impossible. 
didn't get the righty that time. But perhaps we can get a double play. The Fiore. Yep, around the horn. Good job. Oh, come on! How is that possible? The guy's got a 66 speed. We have to take him out. Let's bring in um, Dick Ruthven. Uh, he has not given up a run yet. Dennis Leonard does not look great. He has got a win. He's yet to strike anybody out. Um, Ruthven does have a save. He has not given up a run. And actually, uh, Fetty C came up with the nickname Ruthless for Ruthven. But I think since his name is Dick Ruthven, I feel like his name should be Dr. Ruth. That's, I don't know. We'll spitball that. All right, here we go. Dr. Ruth. Popping him up. There we go. Okay, good job. I mean, I feel like I'm doing the best I can here. Who's another bat striking out. It's the second strikeout today. Mark Belanger, just when I start to trust this guy, he turns into a bag of crap. I thought, why not... He's... You know, he's been one of the better hitters. Stick him in the number two spot, and he's garbage. We're going to the eighth. We'll let Ruthven pitch another inning. It's the bottom third. Northey and Severson do not have hits yet today. Um, ball to Kelly. Oh, an error! Kelly finally makes an error! Of course he does. He had to. But that's unfortunate. He's been so good defensively. Well, now, how many runs are they going to score here is the question. Well, maybe we turn a double play to make up for it. Yes! That's with Northy running. That's, that's a good double play. Yeah, and Busby has made contact every single time. Okay, to the bottom of the eighth inning. This has been an okay game. As stupid as it's been. Wow. That's the second strikeout for Johnson. He did hit his 25th home run. Uh, was it yesterday, I believe? Bosch popping it up. And a review. Yeah, I mean, Schlubs can't get two hits. The game just doesn't allow that to happen. Dick Ruthven did his gerb. He continues to do his gerb. And we're down to our final lefty. That is Riddleberger. Ground ball for Pat Kelly to third. Joe Foy. Lines out to center. Ed Kirkpatrick striking out. Hey. <clears throat> okay, well, Busby's had 114 pitches. Every starter that starts against us goes the distance. It's the rip. The rip walks. You got a pinch hit for the rip. That's a tying run. Tommy Ag is supposed to get the day off today. Coming in to run. 78% chance to steal. We got to do it. Everybody knows it's going to happen. This feels like a little tease, right? Here we go. Hey, there we go. Good job. By the way, Tommy Agee does lead the American League in stolen bases with 32. So we have that going for us. Van Kelly, he's already come through once. He's got two RBI today. This could be a big one. Pulls it to first. We'll take that. That'll get A.G. over. Infield coming in for Denny Riddleberger. As if we'll take him out. Uh, poop. Now, of these three clowns, can any of them hit a sack fly? 
Devannon, a 77, no. Gary Sutherland, a 83, okay. Sanguian, a 99! We're going with Sanguian, and he can come right in and play catcher. The Sanguillotine, ready to chop off some heads. Sack fly, mofos. I, don't, I mean, just get it in the air. Preferably to the corners. Northy does have a Northy does have a great arm. It's a 99. That means it's a 99% chance it's going to happen, right? One, two, five. And game over. Oh, no way! Off the wall! Go into third. Cruz. Cruising into third. With a game-tying triple. He's got a double and a triple today. And a chance to walk it off. Mark Belanger. Busby is so tired. 133 pitches. I mean, if I had somebody on the bench that I trusted... I would absolutely not let Belanger bat here with the game on the line. Maybe there'll be a wild pitch. Maybe there'll be a balk. Maybe there'll be a pass ball. Or maybe we have free baseball. First pitch. Get down! Yeah, Belanger! Oh, man. What a dumb game. Handshakes, butt slaps, sloppy stakes. Hey, man, we really fought back on that one. We did all the right things. Uh, Belanger with the game-winning RBI. That was really fun. Okay, well, have we won five of our last six? Let's look at the calendar. Right, because we just lost that horrible game, right? So, yeah, we've won one, two, three, four. Yeah, five of our last six. Great. All right, um... Let's see. <laughs> so we're three games better than Chicago. That's That sucks. And if we don't watch ourselves, we're going to pass Detroit, who um, wants to lose National League. Uh, yeah, these divisions are kind of uh, shored up, right? Still got them over a month ago, but that's what it feels like. Headline news, Brainiac Baseball, did we... New York loses 16-7, to seven, drops from first. So that's still a battle. The Yankees and uh, the Orioles. George Scott had two home runs, four RBIs. Okay. Messersmith gets five RBIs? What? Oh, wait, how many doubles did he get? Let's look at the uh, scouting. Batting. 13 for 70. And 13 RBIs. Look at his log. Oh, I want to see his bat log. It sounds like something from Batman, but it doesn't show it. I, get, I don't want to look at the box score. That's a waste of time. Okay, well, that's what it says. So it must be true. McDowell throws a shutout for Cleveland against the Tigers. Nothing about us. Let's take a look at transactions. Jim Gosger of the Mets torn Lee, uh, knee ligament. He was their starting center fielder. Having a career year all the way around. But uh, that'll end his season prematurely. And he will not be in the playoffs. So what do the Mets do to replace him? Who comes in to play center field? I'm always wondering these things. Oh, it's Amos Otis. Who's got... Uh, he's been filling in. I mean, he's 23 years old. And uh, he's awesome defensively. Oh, my gosh. His arm's not great, but he's got range, and he's not going to make an error. Is he available? No, he's not available. But that's somebody to keep in mind for the future. How would you like to have Nolan Ryan 21-3 and three already? Tom Seavers, Jim Bibby. I mean, they've lost the Coos and Gary Gentry, Gentry for the season. So, 
That's a two-man staff, unfortunately, but I think they'll cruise to the playoffs. Let's pull up that box score and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and or subscribe to the channel. As I mentioned, there will be a doubleheader tomorrow. we got to do it. Whether I want to do it or not, I'm pushing all of my important personal things that I have going on. There's a lot of options here for player of the game. Jose Cruz had some big hits. Uh, Mark Belanger won the game for us. Van Kelly early on kept us in the game. Uh, it's a tough call. Um, I mean, everybody kind of contributed. I guess we'll give it to Jose Cruz um, simply because uh, he had two big hits, a double and a triple, in his first game back off the IL. So congrats to him. Uh, John Gelnar, he went five and a third. I mean, that's all you can ask for. He gave up four runs, gave up a ton of hits, and the bullpen came in and shut him down. Denny Riddleberger's got six wins. It won't be long. He'll be leading the team in victories. Uh, Steve Busby takes the hard luck loss. He was cruising along, but they just were set on giving him a complete game, pitching him when he was tired. And that cost them the win. Okay, we'll be back tomorrow with game two and three of the series. Until then, everyone have a great day.